in the town of Windsor, there's a country store that began as a farm supply business in 1915. Just throw right up here. And in the early 90s, branched out into a specialty business. That's where the fruit of the land from this field and others just like it all around Bertie County ends up. All right, we appreciate it. Peanuts. Yep, goobers. And this is their story. Bertie County Peanuts. In our state's northeast corner, it's easy to find rows and rows of promise in the springtime. In fact, here in Bertie County, the fields seem to go on forever. Last year, I think Bertie County was probably second in number of acres in the state, but most of them are here in the Tidewater area of North Carolina and Virginia in the, in the sandy land. They're a root crop, and you, when you dig them, you don't need any dirt sticking to them, so you want sandy soil. Most of our peanuts go to ballparks, in shell peanuts, great big pretty peanuts. Not like the cute little peanuts you get out of Georgia. It's more intensive probably than cotton, not as intensive as tobacco. It's a fun crop to raise most of the time. He's planting eight rows at a time. He's putting about 125 pounds of seed peanuts to the acre, 36 inch rows. He can plant about 50 acres a day. As the growing season progresses, they get fussed over here and there by man. But mostly the fields are left alone to do what planted fields do. These yellow flowers, you see a peanut blooms, and each bloom will have a pin or a peg come down like these, right here, and they go into the ground, and a peanut. And they're about probably 70 days away from making a crop. And then, as the calendar flips to September and October, harvesting begins. And peanut harvesting is like nothing you've seen before. The harvester uproots the peanut plants and leaves them on the rows to dry. Depending on the weather, that might take a week or so. Then another machine picks up the dried plants, separates the nuts from the stems, and transfers them to waiting wagon bins. After harvest, they have to dry some more before they can be weighed and inspected. Well, the farmer brings their trailers in, and they, all the trailers have numbers on them. And we have a receipt book where right now when it came in, what date it came in. And also it tells what percent moisture it is and need to get it down to 10.49%. It take about a day, maybe a day and a half to dry. When it gets 10 and a half, we unhook them. Then we untake them, pull them on scales, and weigh the trailer by itself. Okay. And then we uh, take a sample out of it. The government and state graders are here. They are hired by the North Carolina Department of Agriculture, and they do all this process. And we have regulations of how many probes each trailer has to be taken out of. From there, we start the grading process. They take the farm material out of the peanuts, then they divide the peanuts in sizes. That's the actual large peanuts, what we use in our Berkeley County peanuts, which the farmer normally gets a premium for. Then they shell them. And they take the moisture to be sure the moisture is the correct. Find what percent of the uh, sample is extra large kernel. After they put all these percentages into the computer, it prints out what the peanuts graded. This is a way the farmer gets paid on his peanuts. The peanuts are then stored until it's time to ship them to a facility that shells them. My grandfather liked to cook peanuts during the peanut season uh, for the farmers as they came in. He learned how to do the, the blister frying and actually used an old popcorn popper to cook the peanuts. And uh, the farmers and customers liked them so much that they kept saying we ought to start packaging them and selling them. And uh, came up with the blister fried peanut, uh, which was our first product. One of the secrets to the blister peanut success is a premium quality peanut. 
Principle E is the largest peanut you can get on the market. It's a Virginia type peanut which is grown in eastern North Carolina. It's got a good flavor and it looks good to the consumer. And since we use the clear plastic jars so people can see what they're buying, that peanut really makes an impression. We soak it in water to help remove some of the red skins that might still be attached. And we then fry the peanuts in canola oil. Uh, and that interaction between the wet peanut and the canola oil causes blisters to pop up on the peanuts. It makes the peanut extra crunchy. Apply a little bit of popcorn salt and let them cool. And then we uh, package them into the different products. Bertie County Peanuts has peanut processing down to a science, but it's not all machines, far from it. We could go larger and we could automate just about everything we do out there, but we're very specific about how we want the peanuts handled, specifically with the chocolate and the butterscotch. We bring the peanuts over and we have the chocolate droppers. And once they're coated, they drop the peanuts onto the cooling belt by hand. And that gives us the clusters as opposed to the individual peanuts that are shiny and round and so forth. We want the more rustic look of the peanuts. That kind of attention to detail, along with sophisticated packaging and marketing, clearly sets Bertie County peanuts apart and helps account for their growing success. That's one of the reasons um, we called it Bertie County Peanuts because we wanted to um, put our county out there and a little small rural county like Bertie County and Windsor, the internet just can just carry you out as far as you want to go. Y'all never been here before? Give them the spiel. All right, Dad, give them the spiel. I can give you love. Give us everything on the bottom shelf is raw peanuts. Uh -huh. We got butter fried peanuts, chocolate peanuts, chocolate peanut brittle, peanut brittle. Cajun sets and six hot peanuts. Our birds of old bay season, boiled peanuts, they got roasted in the shell, it looked like that. Whoa! <laughs> Don't do it again! <laughs> oh, boy. If you have trouble deciding which one is the best, just take Jack's advice and try them all.